Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Subtracting integers. How to subtract number? How to subtract integer? Especially when subtracting a negative number. Sometimes people feel confused. Okay, let me show you what is subtraction mean. Subtraction means find the difference of two numbers. For example, when number is 5, 5 minus 3 equals 2. So the difference between 5 and 3 is 2. Because 5 is greater than 3, so the answer is positive. If 3 minus 5 Because 3 is less than 5, so the answer will be negative. Negative. A another example, let's say 9 minus 2 equals 7. 2 minus 9 equals negative 7. Because 2 is smaller than 9, so the answer will be negative. So positive answer means 9 is greater than 2. Negative answer means 2 is less than 9. This is very obvious. But when we working with integer, when we working with negative number, let's say the question is negative 3 subtract 5. Or negative 3 subtract negative 5. How to do those kind of question? When we try those kind of question, first of all, same meaning, subtraction means find the difference between two numbers. Second, small number subtract the big number, you got the negative. Big number subtract small number, you got the positive. It's always true. And also, I introduce you a number line, which will make your more sense, make more sense, make easy to understand. For example, how to do negative three subtract five. So the number line here. So first of all, we label these two numbers. One is negative 3, one is 5. Negative 3, this is 0. Negative 3 on the left side of 0. Okay. 1, 2, 3 unit. This is negative 3. 5 on the right side. 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 5. On the number line, when we subtract number, actually find the difference or more visible, that means find the distance between these two numbers. Right? From these two numbers, you can see 1 is negative 3 on the left side of 0, 5 on the right side of 0. The distance is 8 unit because from negative 3 to 0 is 3 unit. From 0 to 5 is 5 unit. The distance is 8. So it depends on which one subtract which one, right? If they say negative 3 subtract 5, because negative 3 is on the left side of 5, which is small. That means negative. Because this is a small number, subtract the bigger number, we got the negative at the 8 unit. <coughs> the other example is negative 3 subtract negative 5. So here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Subtract negative 5, negative 5 on the left side of negative 3. 4, 5. See? If you label these two points, then instantly you know the distance between negative 5 and then negative 3 is 2 units. A 2 units. But to see if it's negative positive, you say because negative 3 on the right side of negative 5, which means negative 3 is greater because closer to 0. is greater than negative 5. That's why you got big number, subtract small number, you got the positive. All right, that's got the positive. Try one more question. Let's say if you have this one, Okay, negative, uh, let's say 6, another question, let's say 6 subtract negative 2. 6 is greater than negative 2, the answer is positive. And to label these two points on the number line, you can say 0, 6 is on the right side, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and negative two on the left side of zero, negative three. See, once you label these two points on the number line, number line, then you instantly find is eight unit eight, because negative two to zero is two unit. Six to zero, uh, zero to six is six unit, right? So total is eight unit. Total is eight unit. And the six is on the right side. Subtract the number on the left side is six greater than negative two. So that's why it's positive. The answer is positive eight. So this is always true, we say Big number, subtract small number, get the positive. Also from the number line, you can say any number on the right side would be bigger than the number on the left side. So another example, we can say negative, for example, another example I show you, negative 10, negative 10, subtract negative 5. So, negative 10 is on the left side of 0, negative 5 also on the left side 0. See, if I put the 0 over here, I have enough space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is negative 5. And 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is negative 10. So, negative 10 subtract negative 5. Actually, on the number line, is find the distance between negative 10 and negative 5. And because negative 10 on the left side of negative 5, so negative 10 is smaller than negative 5. So that means if you use negative 10, subtract negative 5, you will go to negative 5 because, see, 5 units on the left side, right? So after practice, and then in your mind, and you have number line. The number line, at the beginning, you can draw on the paper, and later you can put in your mind. What means put in your mind? For example, if you have question let's say sometimes because if you have negative 60 so it's uh, difficult to draw number line label negative 60 right so you put negative 60 on your mind okay negative 60 let's say uh, subtract negative 13 maybe right and you think about because negative 60 on the very left side and compare with negative 13, right? 
Also, sometimes you can uh, draw. It's not exactly, but you just label. This one is zero. This is, uh, for example, each one is say, okay, this is uh, uh, negative 60, right? And this is negative 13. This is negative 13. See? What is the answer? First of all, negative 60 is subtract. I mean, this is a smaller, small number minus big number. That's why they got the negative. And the answer actually is between 60 and 13. What the difference between 60 to 13? This is a 47. It just use 60 minus 13. You got the 47, which is negative 47, right? If the question is 60, subtract negative 13. Then you can see 60 on the other side. You can label 60 on the other side. Here is 60. Subtract the negative 13. Looking for the distance between these two. Obviously, you see from 60 to 0 is 60 unit. From 0 to negative 13, another 13 unit. You just add these two numbers. And also, 60 is on the right side of negative 13. You got the positive because this one greater than that one. So you got positive, and these two is 73. Right? So draw number line, label the number, and it's, it's visible, understand, right? And so when we do integer, you may already know that is a rule, which is subtract two integer is plus its opposite. Plus its opposite, right? So you apply this rule, same thing with this one, but much faster after you understand. For example, 60 minus negative 13, subtract a number is plus its opposite. Plus, you write 60 plus its opposite. Opposite negative 13 is positive 13, you see, is 73 positive. Any question, same thing. Okay, for example, this question. You see, negative 3 minus 5 equals negative 3 plus its opposite. Minus 3 subtract 5 is plus its opposite of 5 is negative 5, right? And become negative 8, see? The same thing. Okay, this one is presented by wise guys. Thank you.